Hello everybody, my name's Andy Davis. Welcome to DraftKings. This is my eight-man lineup for week 10 of the English Premier League season. In goal, once again, I've gone for Tom Heaton of Burnley. 3.6 thousand. He's going down in value every week, yet his points average is increasing. I don't understand the maths, but what I do know is that you can't ignore this goalkeeper, particularly if you want to save some money for the rest of your lineup. He's averaging 10.1 points a game, 3.6 thousand, have I just said, but let me just point out, last week he scored 17 points, which is a lot of points for a goalkeeper. He may be playing Manchester United this week, but I do not trust Manchester United for goals at the moment. Uh, in defence, I've gone for Jose Holobas of Watford, uh, 5.5 thousand, averages 10 points a game. He gets a lot of crosses in. They're playing Hull this weekend. I would expect a Watford victory and maybe a Watford clean sheet. And uh, out of the two fullbacks, this is, this is the guy you've got to pick. Um, alongside him, uh, I've just been slagging Manchester United off, but I have gone for Antonio Valencia of Manchester United. 4.8 thousand, which in the world of fullbacks is relatively cheap. Averages 9.9 .9 points a game. In, in United's last two games against Chelsea and Liverpool, where United didn't win and conceded four goals against Chelsea, he made double figures in both games. So in fullback terms, he is a safe pair of hands. Um, in midfield, I've gone for Nasser Chadley. Now, West Bromwich Albion may be playing Manchester City. We are expecting City to come back at some point after six games without a win. Uh, but Nasser is averaging 27 points a game at home. He's still only 6.9 thousand. His average is 12.5 over all games. And I'm expecting, even if uh, City beat West Brom, Nasser Chadley will be up there scoring some points. Alongside him, I've gone for Raheem Sterling of Manchester City. I wanted to pick one City player in my lineup this week, and Raheem, it could have been David, uh, David Silva, could have gone for Nolito, but I've gone for Raheem Sterling at 7.8 thousand. He averages 13.9 points a game. Up front, I've gone for Troy Deeney of Watford. He's only 6.9 thousand. He may only average 5.9 points a game, but they are playing Hull. I am expecting a good, maybe high-scoring Watford victory. And Troy has scored in his last two home games. Uh, so let's, fingers crossed, he'll make it a hat-trick this week. Alongside him, I've gone for Son Hung Ming of Tottenham Hotspur. As a Spurs fan, I've got to pick one Spurs player every week. And Sonny is my choice this week. Leicester are pretty abject on the road. They're coming to White Hart Lane this weekend. I'm expecting a Spurs victory. Maybe not by much, but Sonny should be on the end of something if he plays. If he doesn't play, he's about the same price as Latan Ibrahimovic. You can just sew him out for Latan. And my utility player this week is James Milner of Liverpool. The most expensive fullback there is, but... James Milner is a consistent scorer of DraftKing points, has been for the last couple of seasons. Um, yeah, Liverpool, you never know how it's going to go with them against Crystal Palace this week, but if anyone's going to get some consistent points for them, it's going to be James Milner. Uh, 7,000, averages 15 points a game. That is my eight-man lineup. Good luck, everybody.